my name is Samantha Harris with Partner Engineering and Science. I'm a geologist and we're about to do an experiment on how vapor intrudes through a concrete slab. So what we're going to do is we're going to expose the bottom of a 6 inch concrete slab to 100 parts per million isobutylene and see if this steady stream of vapors can pass through the concrete block. So how we set this up is we have a 6 inch concrete block and then we have one bucket on the bottom representing the subsurface and then one on the top representing the interior space. What we're going to do is we introduce the 100 parts per million of isobutylene and then we measure the vapor intrusion using a photoionization detector or PID which is calibrated so that it will alarm at 10 parts per million. We've just introduced the isobutylene to the environment and at this point, at zero minutes, the reading on the PID is 0.0. Just hit 30 minutes and the PID reading is now at 2.0, meaning that we are getting some vapor intrusion from the bottom bucket. So we've just hit one hour and the PID reading is now at just above nine parts per million, indicating that we have significant vapor intrusion from the isobutylene introduction to the bottom bucket. So it's been a little bit over an hour and the concentrations in the top bucket are leveling out. It appears that it only takes about an hour for vapor intrusion to appear and there's an attenuation factor of about 10. This all indicates that even though the concrete slab can be completely intact, the pore spaces allow a significant amount of vapor intrusion through the concrete slab. This is Samantha from Partner Engineering and Science. Thank you so much for watching.